Well, praise the Lord, somebody. How y'all doing on today? I'm not going to be before you long. I hope everyone is blessed. And we are covered all with the set, shed, raw shed blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, divine protection and intervention. Oh, I know things are going to work out fine because if we belong to the Lord, this is our season. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We're in transit. And I tell y'all, I am uh, uh, doing some great things for the Lord only because he's with us. And I tell you, I just give him the praise and the honor and all the glory. I want to say this. I want you to realize that we are in a season of restitution. This is a targeted word for most of you. And I'm speaking to them who are on the Lord's side, who you know Heavenly Father is your God. Somebody praise the Lord. The Lord says, get ready because I am putting things back together in your life. And I want you to look way back sometime at things that went, all, that went awry and things that just, just got out of hand. Things that were broken to pieces. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Uh, like a vessel just was broken. And, and, and one thing led to the next one and to the other one. I hear the Lord says, I'm putting things back together. I want y'all to see that this is going to be the most greatest restoration, the Joel 225 move of God, that I will restore to you all the years. The canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar ate. My great army that I sent among you. When we had to suffer, had to, had to go through the test, through the test, had to go through things, y'all. But he's so gracious, y'all. He remembers his people. He remembers his covenant with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I tell you, restitution, recompense, restoration. These are three words I'm going to speak again. Restoration, restitution, and divine recompense. Divine recompense are miracles and um the Lord says to us, uh, yes, Holy Ghost, thank you. <clears throat> because this is a quick word, y'all, and I don't want to get this thing twisted around. Things are going to start coming back together. It's like a divine repair. Things are going to, that, that were out of whack. I see like a great big iron just ironing out wrinkles in our lives. Where did that thing happen? Where were you disappointed? Where did this come from? Where did this curse come in on your life? Where God says in business, all the original places of origin, the places where the situation occurred, where it happened, even from a child, to order to be restored, things have to be revisited by his spirit. And I heard the Lord says, I'm going to pour out the spirit of restoration, restitution, and recompense. My God, that means we're going to even get paid back for the suffering. We're going to, he's going to bring things out of us that will uh, restore the fortunes that were lost, uh, maybe in uh, a time of suffering that you suffered so long, you could have done other things that would, could have blessed your life, but you were too busy uh, uh, fighting for your life and, 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 and lost a lot of things. God says, that's where I'm going to bring res restoration and recompense, divine recompense. Look out for increase. Look out for divine connections. Look out for angels. Look out, y'all. Be on the look. This is going to be a quick word because me and Pastor got to go into this building. But I'm telling y'all right now, get ready because I heard three words over the Christian's life, over true Christian, not have Christian, have something else, over the people of God. Restoration, restitution, and recompense. I see it prophetically, and it's happening right now. That is a spirit from God. The spirit of restoration repairs, restores. The spirit of restitution gives restitution for time served, for things lost. Uh, and, and the spirit of recompense that brings um, uh, back things that were lost. In, uh, Compensation. It, it's some. I, I even see divine compensation coming over some. Uh, compensation, compensation. Hallelujah. Back pay. Uh, uh, benefits you applied for that you lost. Things that you lost in in lawsuits or things people robbed you from, took from you. Whatever things are, whatever the thief came in to kill, steal, and destroy. 
recompense. God says divine recompense. And these angels ain't playing. I see them bringing in the goods. I see them gathering things. Now, I'm looking at the scripture, and i got to say this quickly. Y'all bear with me because you know I love you, but I, I'm on a time level. Look here. i got to say this. He said, I'll go before you. So when we were suffering and going through the trials and going through the things that we thought we'd never come out of, God had already went to the finish line, for he knew it would not be unto death. He says, I'll go before you. And he just did, did just that. And I'll make the crooked places straight. And I'll tear down the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. And I'm going to reveal to you the treasures hidden in the deep, all the things that the enemy had stolen and put away in his vaults and banks and or kept from us or just derouted or rerouted or sent somewhere else, the things that we lost in the mail, all kinds of different things, things you couldn't get a hold of. They're going to start coming back because of the angels of recompense and restitution and restoration. Get ready, somebody. I'm excited about this word as you are. Don't make me run. I love y'all so much, and I just wanted to share it with you. And uh, like and subscribe, those of you who want to seal this word, first of all, in the shed blood. Hallelujah, son, and I take it for myself and my household, my children, grandchildren. Hallelujah, this ministry and our righteous affiliates, y'all. And I thank God for it so much. And I love him. I want to give him praise, honor, and the glory for there's nothing without him. There's nothing, and I don't want anything without God. I don't want nothing without him. I don't want to be anywhere without him. I need him in my life every nanosecond. Uh, every hour ain't enough. Every nanosecond of my life, I'm glued to this, to this God. Hallelujah. And Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise him. We welcome the ministry of angels that make this happen. This word is going to be quick, y'all. We're in the season of divine restoration, restitution, and recompense. And any worker in any company that is against us will be removed. God says by his own powerful hand, everything will be lined up to favor the people of God in high places and in low places. Somebody praise him. Glory to God. And um, also become a partner with us. I believe that door open because we are uh, and welcome our new uh, 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 partners. We welcome you on in and we thank God for your life and we're praying and we're watching come on in glory to god and uh you can go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click become a partner to uh and fill out the contact form with all your accurate information so that you um uh, uh, we know how to get a, your partner package out, and then you can just scroll down to that donation button to get your first seed or pledge into the fertile soil of this ministry. And I tell you, we're speaking over that, watching and praying, and we're now declaring Deuteronomy 111. And I tell you, it shall happen because it's already happened for some of our partners. Glory to God. God is faithful. Also, so into the work of the Lord through this ministry, we need your help to continue and to do the things that we're doing to grow and expand this evangelism of the kingdom of God, the true praise and worship, and the truth of God's kingdom that we must be whole with him and learn the truth of who he is at Kingdom Power Ministries, intl.church. So get your seeds into the ground, and many of you have sowed your victory seeds, and many of you have not. So you get a seed of victory into the fertile soil. We're praying over them in prayer of agreement. Glory to God. Go to www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click donations, and there you'll find several avenues to get your seeds into the ground. Somebody praise the Lord. I tell you, you can't beat out give God, especially when you're given to the work of his kingdom to keep his ministers and his kingdom going. Somebody praise the Lord. So he can do Deuteronomy 1, 11 and whatever else God wants to do. Ephesians 3 and 20 comes to my mind. He says, now unto him was able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. We can't outgive him. We can't outthink him. We can't outimagine him. I am leaving the door of his imagination open over my life. Do it, God. Do it, God, and do it big. And whatever he wants to do over his people, I know it's going to be good. 
because she says restoration, restitution, and recompense, and time served for all our troubles, somebody. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. www.kingdompowerministriesintl.com and click donations to get that seed into the soil. I will be lifting it before the Father and with the prayer warriors will be agreeing. And I just thank God for your life. I love you all so much. We're watching and we're praying. I want to get this word out because once it's in the air, God watches over his words to perform it. Somebody praise the Lord. And I want to grab it for myself, y'all. Hallelujah. I can't wait to see you on, in church live streaming tomorrow on Sunday on YouTube. And I tell you, I know it's going to be off the hook because the Holy Spirit will be with us and Jesus Christ in the center. Love y'all so much. Be safe. We're covered with his raw shed blood. Ain't nothing can beat that, y'all. See you soon. Start expecting. Shalom.